So I can't really give you guys a loud hey ladies because I'm visiting my mom and she's asleep so I'll owe you next time. And I'm really hoarse because here in Colorado the elevation is so high and it's so dry it's like drying out my throat so um, yeah I'll give you hey ladies next time. Also I got cast to be in an episode of RuPaul's Drag U so hopefully you have logo and you can watch that and I'll keep you guys updated um, for when it'll be on. And here's my stand up act from tonight. I hope you like it. Some new stuff, some old stuff. It's short but you know, you get what you get. I'll see you guys later. We do have a very, very special guest in the house this evening. She's all the way from Long Beach, California. I want you to make some noise. Put your hands together. Show lots of love. AJ Stacy. is a must here. I got off the plane and I was like shriveling up like a little raisin. You guys, you guys got it going on here. Also, my mom took it to your local Walmart today and in your Walmart you can get your hair done, your nails done, buy your groceries. In California, you're lucky to leave Walmart alive. You guys got it going on here, I'll tell you what. So, like I said, I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm from sea level, so if I'm if I sound like gasping for breath, it's because I am, it's no joke up here. Um, so I live in Long Beach, California, and it is the, almost the number one highly populated city for lesbians. And I, yeah! Yeah, Long Beach. I see these girls up here, and I'm like, I'm not used to having girls on top, so we're going to have to deal with that too. But uh, anyway, I'm from Long Beach, and let me tell you why we all live in Long Beach. Have you guys ever been to the beach before? I'm hoping you have. Yeah. When you go to the beach, people say, you know, it smells like the ocean down here. You know what it is? It smells like fucking fish, okay? That is why all of the Long Beach lesbians live by the beach, because we get that smell, we go outside and it just smells like fish. All the old ladies live down there, all the old retired straight ladies are like, I love living here. You know, you open the door and it smells like the ocean. No, bitch, it smells like so, yeah, I'm from Long Beach. Um, I did grow up in San Diego. I did grow up down in San Diego in a small town called Ramona. Um, but Ramona's a lot like here. It's a, it's a little country town. Uh, my, my mom had 50,000 dogs. And uh, during, the, during these dogs' life, she would feed them these biscuits for fresh breath. Do you guys do that? Do you guys keep your dogs fresh breath and brush their teeth and shit? No. Let me tell you something. These dogs spend the day licking themselves, drinking out of the toilet, and eating their own shit. Fresh breath is not a priority for your dogs, okay? I'll tell you that. Also, living in the country, like you guys know, when I was a kid, I used to turn on the TV and they'd have these commercials for country fresh at your home, country fresh shit. What the fuck are they talking about? On a windy day, we could open our door and it would smell like cow shit and chicken farms. That is not country scent I want in my house, I'll tell you that. I have my little cheat sheet here, sorry. So I have this friend, she's not out of the closet yet, and you guys know how that is if you're not out, you don't want people to know or whatever. But she drives this car. All over her car are these gay stickers. Every Ani DeFranco fucking concert sticker you can think of. I love the Indigo Girls. Every rainbow sticker, rainbow menorah, rainbow blower, rainbow fucking camera all over her car. So one night I was out and I was like, you know what? I found a sticker for her car. This sticker says, vaginas are way cool. She's also a teacher. So one night I went over to her house and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stick this on her car and she'll never know, you know? It's gonna mix in with everything else. She's also in the closet, by the way, so. This sticker's on her car for an entire week. I don't hear her calling to thank me, because if somebody stuck that sticker on my car, I'd be super excited. So she calls me and she's like, AJ, did you put the sticker on my car? Vaginas are way cool. Yeah, I did. What do you think of it? I don't want people to know I'm gay. Are you fucking kidding me? You're driving the world's biggest gay pride car float shit thing to school for your kids to see. You have your hair cut 
like mine. You look like Katie Lang, and you don't want people to know you're fucking gay? Come out of the closet! Everybody needs to come out of the closet by now. It is accepted. Let's come on out. Let me know if you want a Vaginas Are Wakeful sticker on your car. I can make that happen. So did you guys have any New Year's resolutions this year? Maybe not to drink and you're at the bars. <laughs> My New Year's resolution was to not eat red meat, don't eat pork, and to work out. Because look at my body, clearly I'm working out all the day. So I've been going to this thing called Brickham Yoga. It's a heated room of 110 degrees. And there's like humidity, it's like Vegas in the summertime with a rainstorm, it fucking sucks. <laughs> So my friend, Lori, we decided to kind of kick the, the yoga habit and go to the gym. So we're at the gym, and we both have our iPods on, and our headphones and shit. And you know when you have your headphones on, you can't hear anything, and people cannot hear you. So we go to the gym, and she suddenly gets gym Tourette syndrome. <laughs> Let me explain to you what happens. We're working out, right? People keep turning around looking at us. So I'm like, yeah, what's up, bro? A little liftable thing? I look at my friend Lori and take my headphones off and she's like this with the music. That? Is that what that? Is that what that? And I'm like, Lori, shut the fuck up. People can hear you. I can't get here. What? Lori, people can hear you. Okay, okay. So we're working out again. She turns it down. Two minutes later, I hear her going, Sad! 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 So if you guys go to the gym and you have your iPod on and you're singing along, people will hear you and people are going to look. Keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. So now that we're at the club tonight, there's something I want to talk to you all about, which is club bathroom etiquette. I am so tired of going into the bathroom after you chicks, girls, women, whatever, and you guys think you can hover pee? <laughs> no. I go into the stall after you, and there's little sprinkles of love all over the toilet seat. And if you think you've mastered the hover pee, there is something wrong with you. <laughs> in order to eliminate that, just lay some toilet paper down. Or in fact, just sit. It's okay, just sit. There's something else that really bothered me the other day. Somebody tried to attempt the hover poo. <laughs> If you are going to even poop at a club, you should be out of the house. You should be at home and in bed doing your thing. Do not attempt the hover poop. Another thing is graffiti in the bathrooms. I actually like the graffiti in the bathrooms, so keep that one up. I like that one. What? What? So I'm single and I have a lot of cats. Who fits into that? Uh, <laughs> Come on, we're all no. doing what last week was to have a cat here. No cats. No cats. No cats. No cats. They're raising their hands, of course you got it. Yeah, yeah. So, cats are a lot like girlfriends. That's why I decided to keep my cats. Cats will come on the couch and tell you to move over, just like a girlfriend would. Cats spend hours getting ready, licking themselves, cleaning themselves. I cannot tell you how long I have waited for a girlfriend to get ready. It's just like a cat. Cats shed everywhere. Let me talk about that. How many of you guys have had a girlfriend or who are guilty of doing this? You're in the shower, you take a little bit of love hair that's fallen out when you wash your hair and stick it on the wall. You are as good as a cat. If you see your cat doing something bad, they're scratching your furniture or whatever, and you're like, hey, stop that, and they give you the look like, what? So not doing anything wrong. Just like if you catch your girlfriend at the club doing something across the room, she's like, what? I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> I'm like the comedian with ADD. I'm just going to switch subjects on you guys. So the other day I went to the bank to cash a check. I gave it to the teller, and she looks at me and she goes, would you like to start a relationship with us today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was it that $17 check that impressed you? <laughs> or the fact that there's no comma in my bank account? Now in Long Beach, everything takes place behind bulletproof glass. So hopefully, Long Beach in the house. 
So hopefully our relationship will not take place behind bulletproof glass the whole time and we'll have conjugal visits. Yeah. <laughs> also this year I heard they're not having any cheerleaders at the Super Bowl. That's fine because who really fucking pays attention to them anyway? They're so dated. Let's change the cheerleader up a little bit. Let's take away her pom-poms, put her in a box with a pole. That will get the crowd motivated to scream for their team. I know, if I saw a cheerleader out there on a pole, I wouldn't be watching the game and be like, girl, go, get upside down, do it like that. <laughs> anyway, my name's AJ Stacey, that's all the time I have tonight. Have a good night, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for AJ Stacey coming from Long Beach to party with us. Appreciate that.